Marathon Peak Performance. I've caught 15 pounds on this lake with my eyes closed hundreds of times. I've tried not to think about that. Just to have the opportunity would be great, but for all of it to come together here would be awesome. And I'm just gonna go out there and fish as hard as I can, but it would be really special to have all that happen right here at home. He is from Springville, Alabama. Come on out, Wes Logan. Very good call. Had a good start to your mm -hmm. tournament here with 14 pounds in an ounce, five more to go with it. If they go 15, 13, it would put you in the lead. Five fish, yes, 12 pounds and eight ounces. And he is inside that top 10 moving into semifinal Sunday. Being my home lake, I got a lot of history here. So I've really tried to approach this tournament as like I've never seen the lake before and try and figure out a pattern. Uh, instead of just running history, like I've caught one here, I've caught one there and so forth. Day three, man, tell me about it. how you feel. Uh, I'm not as confident as I have been. I don't even know where I'm gonna start yet. We're just gonna see what happens, see what the fish are telling us, see what we need to make an adjustment on, or just keep running the same thing. Kind of bounce around like I've been doing for two days and hope to run into five decent ones. We got one rat. We don't need to weigh him in though. I think a lot of fish are still up shallow. That ain't a bad one. Two and three quarter. Pretty one. I think there may be a few more fish coming. We don't have a moon, unfortunately, but as it gets later and later, I mean, those fish are just, their timer's going off. They gotta get up there if they haven't already spawned. Falling water on a frog bite's normally not good for this kind of stuff. <clears throat> You know, just pitching shallow wood, shallow grass, you know, swimming a jig, throwing a frog, just stuff that you catch them on when they're spawning is really gonna play this week. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Two and a half. <clears throat> Need three more. Now they're eating it better today. That one didn't really get it that good, but I mean, it kind of, I don't know. I thought it got it, but then I hooked it again. Like I did those yesterday. Normally it's like a barely a ripple on that island. Like, I mean, you can see the bottom, but not like the mud. It's probably six inches below full full, which ain't good at all. Like, bad <clears throat> for grass fishing. Cockpit jump. Thank the Lord. <clears throat> Been so long since I had a bite, I don't even know what to do. Two and a quarter. Number three. Ah, we need two more. God, that's a big one, dude. Oh my God. Like a big, big one. Please don't come off. Oh my God. Come here, baby. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. I got you. Mm -hmm. Let's freaking go. Wow. Five and a quarter. Neely Henry, baby. Thank you, darling. I swapped to a square bill because I've been catching some fish here flipping a jig, but the water's fell so much. It's just a little 1.5 size square bill, black and chartreuse. It's really about the only thing that you can throw out here and be kind of, you know, keep it in front of the fish's face. I basically had to scrap um, the way I've been fishing the last two days, you know, fishing shallow, throwing a frog and stuff, because, I mean, they're literally dropping the water 
a couple inches an hour. Like it's it's falling fast. Like it's below it's below full pool now. I think it's like maybe a foot low. <clears throat> and I just know when this lake gets that low or it starts falling, they get out of that grass and kind of just kind of messes with them for a day or two. Uh, so I kind of scrapped that and. I mean, me and everybody else in the top 30s kind of got the same idea. I mean, just out here chunking and winding around close to the launch. But uh, yeah, caught one real big one right here. Just need one more good one. I think I might have a chance to fish tomorrow. Just keep rotating little stretches that I know. God, it's a big one. Come on, baby. She got it, too. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Three and three core. How about that for number five? <clears throat> West Logan at Springville, Alabama is going to move into that lead with 43 pounds and 8 ounces. I just feel like I caught two big ones yesterday. And you know, Paul had 15 two days in a row and then caught them good yesterday. Then you got Christy, who scares me to death, or scares everybody to death, but me and him are good buddies. It's pretty neat seeing all those guys behind me, but like I said, I, I, I'm just worried about me getting five bites and putting them in the boat. 10 seconds out. Five, four, three, two, one. Eyeing that first Elite Series victory. He is the hometown kid in first place with 43 pounds and eight ounces. Just gotta keep rotating baits, rotating stretches, and hopefully run into one that wants to bite. Figure out if I need to be on the river, off the river. Every day is different on this place. Uh, water's come up a little bit. Um, I don't know, it looks good, feels good. We just gotta run into one or two that wants to bite. Fix and go run some stuff that I written, hadn't really fished yet. That, May be good, may not, I don't know. I just gotta figure out what bait I wanna throw, where I'm going, see what kind of mood they're in. Gonna bounce around, see if we can run into one, and then go from there. That sucks. A uh, two, two and a half pounder. This week at Nelly Henry, I think it's gonna average, a guy's gonna catch, you know, nine to 10 pounds a day, he's gonna get paid. It wouldn't surprise me if it took eight, it wouldn't surprise me if it took 10. Just depends on the, cause we got a bunch of weather in practice and then we're gonna be post frontal uh, going into the tournament and a cold front's coming in. So it may knock them back a little bit. God. If a guy catches 14 a, really, a day, I really think he's gonna win, but whoever can, if somebody happens to catch 15 a day or average 15 a day, I, I really think they're gonna walk away with it by the end of the tournament.
Uh, we get to turn the live well on today anyway. I was kind of wondering there for a second. Makes me feel better anyway. We didn't zero. We get to weigh in. <laughs> Still got a lot of work to do. A lot of work to do. It's a big one. It ain't a big one, but it's a good one. Thought it was bigger than that. Another two pounder. It's not been a great morning. I've had some <clears throat> unfortunate luck. Come here, thank you. That one ate it. Two pounder. Mm -hmm. Oh, two more good ones. Two four pounders. Uh, kind of sticking around here a little bit longer than I wanted to. I'd just like to catch, you know, two more good, decent ones. Take that by the 12 ounces. Sorry I didn't hold that big one up. Oh my God. Missed quite a few. A couple of them didn't even get it. Broke one off. What a morning we are having ourselves. We're going to have an opportunity to win somewhere at some time today. May have already had it. I think I need to go throw my frog a little bit more. I just I feel like if I get bites on it, they're better quality. Typical Neely Henry. We're not out of it. we got a long day or a lot of time left in the day. And we only need two bites. And I think, I think if I can catch two, three and a half to four pounders with the three two pounders I got, at least give me a chance. I mean, it make them have to catch them. So. God almighty, didn't get it. Oh my God. Freaking four pounder. I mean, just jumped all over it and still didn't get it. Why? Why today? God. Look at her. I ain't got her good, but I got her. Gosh dang it. Three pounder. I need two more. Two more like this one, we'll be alright. I wanna win bad. Three. We ain't done. We ain't out of it. We ain't in he ahead by no means, but we ain't out of it. Thank you, buddy. Crazy thing is it ain't even really about the money. I mean, yeah, the money's nice, but just it being on this lake. They had quite a few tournaments going into the last day and hadn't won two and a quarter. A good call. If the good Lord wants me to win today, he'll let me win. My bad, I keep forgetting about you. If not, we'll be happy with the finish. Head to Gunner. 
they catch a four pounder, they better catch it. Thank you, buddy. Just one bite. Bless her! Come on, baby. Let's go! Whoa! Mm. What I'm talking about? Freaking ate that freaking dirty jig, no jack. Y'all done give up on me, didn't you? I know you did. They said, ah, oh, he done spun out. He's done spun out. He's freaking out. No, not today. 312. A little over, 313. I mean, to have the opportunity to win one of these things is, I mean, pretty rare in itself, and let alone be in my backyard. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of my friends at the weigh-in. I know a lot of my family's coming, a lot of my girlfriend's family's coming, but I wanna win bad. Hey, sweet girl. I ain't got enough. What nothing I can do? All you wanted was a check. You got you a check. Let's get ready to bring him in. Guys, and you guys ready to crown a champion here at the Whataburger Elite? Because we're getting ready to do it. He went out in the lead. Let's see if he can stay in the lead at the end of the weigh-in. 43-8 was his three-day total. He is from Springville, Alabama. Let's get loud for Wes Logan. Digging in the live well for a Neely Henry kicker. Let's see how big it is. There you go. 12-12 will do it. If it's anything lighter, it goes to Paul Mueller. Looking for 12-12. 14 pounds and an ounce. And that means Springville, Alabama's West Logan is going to be taking home his first career Bassmaster Elite Series victory. Four day total of 57 pounds and nine ounces. And the hometown kid is getting it done here at Neely Henry. And we're about to introduce you to the newest Elite Series champion from Springville, Alabama with 57.9. Get it out for Wes Logan. Anchored by his 14 pound and an ounce bag today, 57.9, your four day total. Again, your champion, Wes Logan. Soak it in, Wes, soak it in. How about it, guys? And let's hear it one more time for your champion. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, shows you how hard it is to win one of these blue trophies and what it means when you actually get it done. Get it out for Wes Logan! Marathon Peak Performance.